Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 583. Feel the burn. Not that. There we go, there's Stanley hanging out. We haven't gone out yet, it's still early. Alright, <clears throat> feel the burn, the burn out, I mean. Uh, you hopefully will be able to feel it coming on, and even if you don't feel it coming on as soon as it hits, this is where you need to take actions. Yes, work harder when you feel when you're burning out. No, work smarter. This is where you have to get the the maximum amount of effort with the least amount of time and engagement. So figure out what uh, the burnout looks like, and then the first thing you have to do is prioritize. What do you absolutely have to get done? What is going to crash your career if you don't? What's not going to affect it or affect it the least amount? Prioritize. Do not burn bridges. This is where you don't start ghosting everybody. Hey, having some issues? Uh, give me time. Even a month. Give me three months. Uh, I, or give me some time. I don't know how long it's going to take. You have to let people know. Even if, oh, I'm burnt out, I, I can't let people know. Yes, you have to. This is one of those things where it, it could have lifelong impact or you have to go on an apology tour later at some point in time, which, of course, is going to lengthen the amount of time you're burned out or or depressed or feeling horrible about things. It's going to lengthen it if you think, oh, geez, i got to apologize to all these people that I'm dissing during this time. Don't do that. Get in front of it, even if it's a quick one-liner note. That's all you have to do. Even if it's a quick one-liner, that's shotgunned. That, hey, all these people I owe stuff to, I can't. I can't right now. I'm sorry. I'll give you your money back. I'll do whatever, to, and, uh, and we'll, get, uh, we'll get this right later. But ghosting, it's the worst thing you can do because what happens in the absence of information? People fill it with the worst thing they can possibly imagine. So you are a scammer. You are a horrible human being. You're, you've abandoned us. You've, uh, you've married an alien and gone to planet Mars to live. Uh, I, I'm not sure that's so bad. But anyway, they, they fill it with, with bad stuff. Don't give them the opportunity. Get in front of it. Get in front of it quickly. And then take care of yourself. And then hun hunker down. Do what you need to do to get back on track. So explain the day delay. Tell people the priority. So if you're still able to work some stuff, tell them what it is. Hey, I've had to kick yours down the road. I did this with a book uh, just last week. Uh, it was supposed to be done uh, in the middle of December, and I kicked it to the end of January. This is me taking three months to write a book just because I'm, I'm only getting about 500 words a day nowadays because of the conference has, has gotten so complex, and uh, it, is, it requires so much time and energy right now that I just can't. I just can't write the words, 500 a day, maybe. And I keep going back and rewriting, too. So, hey, it's just the way it is. Get in front of it and don't uh, uh, burn yourself out. Don't uh, under-promise and over-deliver. So don't get yourself in a situation where you've over-committed. I have a couple books on pre-order for next year. No problem. I'm well ahead of them. So that's not an issue. It's about... Uh, uh, at securing an editor's time. So I kick that down the road early so she can reschedule and get some other people in there to get edit early for them and uh, make sure this, uh, make sure my books get done when I get done. So I've got three months to finish this book and that uh, takes a lot of pressure off me. Take the pressure off yourself. Don't overcommit. Under promise and over deliver and then you'll stay in front of it. But burnout Avoid that like the plague, except we, we realize that we really don't avoid the plague, do we? So <clears throat> recognize it when it comes on and get in front of it. Even if it's like, oh, God, I'm burning out. I'm ready to self-destruct. In a short amount of time, you can manage that, and you want to manage it ahead of time. Do not give people the opportunity to fill a void of information with negative thoughts. We don't need negative thoughts, positive thoughts. Give them the opportunity to give positive thoughts your way. Peace, fellow humans.